Hi everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. In this video we'll learn how to chain API requests with API Gateway. My name is Babur and I am a developer advocate for Apache API 6. Some of the learning objectives for this video are we're gonna look through the what is a chaining API requests and uh, I'm gonna provide some examples of sequential API calls and we'll create a custom plugin for Apache API 6 API Gateway to handle client requests that should be called in a sequence. As the number of APIs that need to be integrated increases, managing the complexity of API interactions becomes increasingly challenging. By using API Gateway, we can create a sequence of API calls, which breaks down the API workflows into smaller, more manageable steps. For example, in an online shopping website, when a customer searches for product and the platform can send the request to the product search API, then send the request to the product details API to retrieve more information about the products. Chaining API requests, or sometimes we call pipeline API requests or sequential API calls is a technique used in software development to manage the complexity of API interactions where software requires multiple API calls to complete the task. It is similar to batch request processing where you group a multiple API requests to a single request and send them to a server as a batch. While they may seem similar, a pipeline request involves sending a single request to the server that triggers a sequence of API requests to be executed in a definite order. Each API request in the sequence can modify the request and response data and the response from one API request is passed as an input to the next API request in this sequence. And chaining requests can be useful when a client needs to execute sequence of dependent API requests that must be executed in a specific order. In each step of the pipeline, we can transform or manipulate the response data before passing it to next step. This can be useful in situations where our data needs to be normalized or transformed or we filter out some sensitive data before it is returned to the client. API Gateway can be the right place to implement this functionality because it can intercept all the client app requests and forward them to intended destinations. In this demo, we are going to use Apache API 6 as it is a popular open source API gateway solution with a bunch of built-in plugins. However, at the time of developing the current video, API 6 didn't have official support for the chaining request plugin and I decided to create my custom plugin by the capabilities of API, Apache API 6. I decided to introduce new plugin that can offer the same feature. Let's understand the usage of this plugin with an example. Suppose you have two APIs and one that makes a get to a slash credit card request to retrieve the credit card information, while another that receives the previous response data in the body post of slash filter endpoint of the same request. Then it filters out the sensitive data such as credit card number or the expiration date before returning the response to the client because the credit card API endpoint returns the sensitive information that shouldn't be exposed to unauthorized parties. The below diagram illustrates the overall data flow. When the client makes a request to the credit card API endpoint of API Gateway to retrieve all credit card information, Gateway forwards the request to the retrieve the credit card data from the credit uh, backend service, let's say. If the request is successful and returns credit card data, then it passes to the next step in the pipeline, which is our security service. When the filter response is received from the security service, it returns the combined response to the client. In this demo, we are going to leverage another proposed demo project on my GitHub uh, repository where you can find uh, all necessary kernel command examples we are going to use in this tutorial. And also you can run API 6 enable custom plugin without additional configuration with a docker compose YAML file. Some of the prerequisites you need to be make sure the docker installed on your machine. In my case, I'm using Windows operating system and Docker desktop now installed. And I'm also going to use Coral to send requests to API 6 admin API. You can also use easy tools such as Postman to interact with the same API. 
first thing first you need to clone the project and open in your favorite editor in my case i'm using visual studio after clone the project you can also use the terminal to run api6 project docker compose file and then you can just do docker compose up it will bring at the API 6 and ETCT. As you can see, API 6 is now up and running. I can double check it with my Docker desktop if it's everything's good. Now, as you can see, I have these uh, Docker containers up and running. If you open a Docker Compose YAML file, you may notice that there is a volume under slash custom plugins folder. And this, uh, also where our pipeline request Lua file is located. This is our custom plugin for uh, pipelining or chaining API requests. And uh, as uh, we are also exporting this to the Docker as a read-only volume and at this pass, uh, you do need to make sure that this plugin config file or Lua file will be mounted to this uh, folder. This allows us custom plugins to be added to API 6 in the runtime. Of course, this step is only applicable if you are if you're running API 6 uh, together with Docker. Once API 6 up and running, if you navigate to Coral commands examples, the first uh, we need to create our route with this chaining request plugin enabled. So uh, I'm gonna open a new terminal and run this coral command. I will just copy this coral command. This coral command I'm gonna explain in a moment and API 6 responds successfully after we run this information. So uh, this uh, coral command important configuration we are going to have a look is under plugin session uh, which specifies that the pipeline request plugin should be used for this uh, API request to the slash uh, my credit cards. And uh, also you can define one or multiple APIs under uh, pipeline request plugins. In my case, I am pipelining as uh, we explained in the diagram two uh, URLs or APIs endpoints. First not sends a request to the randomdataapi.com to retrieve the credit cards information and then and the second uh, api is under local my environment is running uh, slash filter endpoint that filters out sensitive data from the credit card information and second api will be just a, a serverless uh, function in our case you will see in the next step it acts as just a backend service to modify the responses from the first API. And you may all notice also, we are sending the curl commands against API 6 admin API, and we are providing the header like API key to secure this connection. Next step, we're gonna configure new route with ID number two, that handles the request to the slash filter endpoint. This is our first endpoint, right? It also enables a, a serverless prep function. As you can see, it is an existing plugin of API 6. Uh, we specify uh, some Lua code here, short Lua code that should be executed by this plugin before anything else happens. This function simply returns a request body from previous response. It just retrieves uh, uh, from the body the response of the first get credit card endpoint and replaces the credit card number field here as you can see and uh, with the asterisk information and to hide the credit card number and leaves the rest of this uh, responses unchanged finally it sets a current response body to the modified request body and sends uh, http 200 response back to the client in our case, it's uh, everything is doing is the slash filter. You can modify this script to suit uh, your needs, such as by using a decoded body to perform further processing or maybe the validations. I'm gonna run this coral command to create my uh, second route. I can do copy paste and press enter. Now API 6 response okay. Next and final step now is to 
test the overall config. Uh, we created two routes. With this below curl command, we send the HTTP GET request to the mycredits uh, slash mycredits endpoint. And uh, after we run this curl command, you will see what happens. It will do two requests. Uh, first, it uh, retrieves credit card information. As you can see in the next uh, request uh, our, to our next uh, second route, it filters out credit card information and hides this information with asterisks. So you see the output and it replaces actually the credit card number and the request body. And actually these response were coming from the first API call in our chain. So overall, what we achieved? We created uh, our first route with our uh, custom plugin enabled. We call this custom plugin pipeline request. And this is a custom plugin. That's why we have implementation of this custom plugin in Lua. And we registered this plugin under API 6 configuration. And this actually pipeline request works greatly. It does two requests to the two different API endpoints in a specific order, right? It calls for credit cards and from the credit cards data filters out sensitive information. And we had a second route that does this filter job uh, with the help of serverless pre-function plugin. And again, it's a Lua code. Up to now, we learned that our custom pipeline request plugin for the Apache API 6 API gateway allows us to define sequence of API calls as our pipeline in specific order. We can also use this new plugin with a combination of, of other existing ones to enable authentication, security, and other API gateway features for our API endpoints. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about Apache API 6, please subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell to receive notifications about new videos.